Hello guys, welcome back to Oxangel RC. Today I'm going to waste your time talking about the Dolphin and my attempts to increase its flight efficiency slightly, if at all possible. Some of you may remember the lame duck from a while back, which out of the box was quite lame. And it took some 3D printing and a major tush slicing to get it to a regular duck standing, but all of these mods made quite the difference in the end, and the plane is now actually quite usable in the pusher prop configuration, able to fly a lot quicker and a lot more efficiently. Now, I know the Dolphin isn't nearly as bad, but I thought I'd give it a try and do something similar to it, but since its rear is pretty good looking, I thought to only move the motor back a bit to get it away from the foam and in the process make it a bit more efficient and less noisy. Due to the size of this mount, I could still use regular screws, but slightly larger than the original ones, so I know that this was going to be it for the stock mount once I installed the printed one. So first thing I did was a baseline endurance run with a stock mount and motor position, so I can get an idea what I can expect. Keep in mind that due to balance considerations, I'm running a 4S 1800mAh LiPo pack, which didn't really last very long. In fact, from takeoff to motor stop as soon as the OSD showed 14 volts for the battery, the flight lasted just barely over 22 minutes, which for me is a bit disappointing. Since I am now used to the considerably longer flight times the lithium ion packs can provide, but at least it made this test go a lot quicker. While waiting for the battery to recharge, I set forth to install the standoff mount. Turned out, however, that the 3.5mm screws I had gotten for it, since the 3mm ones did not come at this length, had a larger head, so they couldn't fit on the motor X mount, and this is what it ended up looking like. I used the old screws to screw the motor into the plastic after screwing the plastic to the plane, not forgetting to use the shimming washers to give it a bit of a down angle to keep it flying level. It is not an optimal solution by any measure, but it should do the trick for the test I need to do. Looks sketchy as hell, but it was sturdy. So, takeoff time. Let's compare the changes in the noise the plane makes during this event. First off, the stock mount. Then the standoff. And again the stock mount. And again the standoff. To be honest, I can't really say there is any noticeable difference in the noise level other than me being a bit further away from the camera in the second clip. Once in the air, at speed, I am almost certain that at altitude, with the printed motor standoff, it is a bit quieter at the same throttle level, but that is hard to determine really. As far as endurance goes, at the same throttle level, in the same areas, the plane flew around 20 seconds more than the previous flight, which is pretty much identical. I also did not see any difference in speed at the same throttle level, current draw, voltage and wind, which leads me to believe that either I need a longer standoff mount to see any noticeable improvement or for this plane it just doesn't matter because the rear end is as good as it will get. Of course I'm not going to leave it like this, I will print out a longer standoff which would also be better designed for the motor mounting and continue with the tests and let's see if we can get anything more discernible as far as results go. Also may look into installing a more powerful motor, maybe so I can put more weight at the back and be able to use a lithium ion battery at some point, although the lithium polymer seems to be quite nice for these tests, as I don't have to wait for an hour to see the results and it does have a higher C rating so you can really push it without it sagging too bad. And it is light enough to have a good vertical, even with this motor. Overall, however, the plane is still quite awesome. I still like it a lot and definitely feels weird flying calm endurance runs instead of bashing it around the field in manual mode. Would be interesting to see if moving the motor even further back will affect the maneuverability in manual mode in some way, and if yes, how? I honestly have no idea how and if such a thing can have an effect on the agility of the plane, so I guess we will see. 
Next review will be of the whale variety. Until then, if you have found this video useful, please like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment or in any other way engage with this video as it helps it get seen more and helps my channel grow. Using any of the affiliate links in the description below to purchase anything from those websites will help support this channel and my family at no additional cost to you. Another way you can support me is Patreon, the link is also there and I would like to express my eternal gratitude to all the people who have supported me so far in any way and would continue to do so. I wish you all successful flights and I will see you in the next video.